Noodles. Noodles. Or zoodles. Zoodles. Zoodles and spoodles. Spoodles. Zoodles and spoodles. Today on the Empty Veg, I am here with my friend Nikki from Health Nut Nutrition. Hi guys. And we are doing another dorm friendly recipe for you. Today we're doing Pad Thai, which is like my favorite meal ever. Using no stove and we're going to put our spiralizer to good use. So let's have a quick drink and get started. Cheers. To make our noodles, we're actually going to use the spiralizer. You've used one of these before, right? I love spiralizing vegetables. So what we're going to do is, today we're going to use a sweet potato, and we're going to use good old fashioned zucchini. While Nikki's doing the spiralizing, I'm going to start making the sauce. So I have some tomato paste here, and that's going to help thicken it up and give it a really nice rich flavor. We have some rice vinegar that we're going to add. We have one clove garlic, and then I have a Thai chili. Do you like spicy things? Oh, I love spicy. Spicy? Okay, yeah. perfect. So yeah. I'm going to put in the whole Thai chili. Then we have some sesame seed oil. You can't make Asian food without sesame seed oil. It's, it should be illegal. We have some coconut sugar. I know it's your favorite. So I didn't use yeah. maple syrup or anything. I <laughs> use coconut sugar. We have some tamari. To thicken it up, because we're not using a stove, we're going to use some nutritional yeast. And that'll give it a nice nutty flavor, almost like you added like a couple nuts. Yep. But it will make it so that it thickens up a lot easier. <laughs> uh, so I don't know if we got that, if we got this on camera or not, but we broke the spiralizer. Apparently the sweet potato really didn't want to get spiralized. So Nikki is using her muscles. And uh, we're just gonna keep going because that's what we do. Yeah. We just we just keep going. We're going to add some lime juice to our sauce. I feel like you need to take a break and we have to just like take like like two or three big gulps. All right, so back to the sauce. We have all of our ingredients in here. We're just gonna blend it up. Now that our sauce is totally mixed. Mm, yeah. It's like spicy and... It, and the spice kind of hits you after. You get the sweetness first and then the spice. It's like tangy. Close to pad thai sauce? Yeah. Awesome. We're going to put this in the microwave so that it's nice and hot, but it also thickens up a little bit. Put it in the microwave. So now we can just assemble our pad thai. So we need Great. some noodles. Mm -hmm. We've got some here. You can really choose any fresh veggies that you want, but I really like to add carrots to it. Also have some sprouts. It adds a nice crunch. I love it. It, it adds a yeah, nice crunch. It's like some freshness to your mm -hmm. cooked thai. It's almost like putting like a lettuce on your sandwich. Like yeah. It adds that nice fresh flavor and then some sauce and then we have toppings because you know on my channel I love toppings so we have some uh, crushed peanuts and we have sesame seeds so we can just pop those and there you have it super easy dorm room pad thai that tastes Delicious. So good guys, you need to make this, it's amazing. And make sure that you check out Nikki's channel. We did another recipe over there. It's like the most amazing bagel I've ever had in my life. And make sure that you give all of our recipes a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to Nikki's channel and subscribe to mine. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. I'm Candice the Edgy Veg, and I have a confession to make. I'm addicted to vegan junk food. And I make it for you every week because it's the vegan gateway drug. So you can watch it weekly right here to get your dose of the edgy veg. Subscribe. And for sweetener, I'm going to use maple syrup. I mean, you can use sugar. Um, I like to also use coconut sugar with it. It's really good. Yeah.